last couple of days we have been at the National Center for Agro Mechanization, organizing a training for tractor operators, agricultural extension agents, and agricultural officers from the various states where CAMAP is domiciled. The states are Kogi, Kwara, Oshun, Ogun, and some private organizations. This training is an offshoot of the, the desire by the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, uh, working in partnership with the National Center for Agri Mechanization to ensure that we have adequate manpower and resources uh, to that will that will that will that will enable mechanization take the rightful place, particularly in cassava production in Nigeria. This training was in two parts, the theory and practical sessions. Uh, the theory sessions were, of course, in the classroom environment, where they were taught, you know, uh, the conditions and what the expectations for, you know, uh, mechanization, basically, or the right environment, so to speak, for mechanization to thrive. So the more inputs you get, you put in, the, you know, in a higher proportion, the more the output you get. So then, ladies and gentlemen, let us go into the topic today, which is agronomic considerations, that is, considerations, agronomic considerations in cassava production. other part which is uh, you know the, the standard operating models uh, expectations of the tractor operator as well as uh, safety in tractor operations and then of course agricultural land clearing uh, you know was another topic that uh, the resource persons uh, considered and put the trainees through and because as we know uh, most people don't realize that clearing for agriculture, clearing a land for agricultural use is different from clearing a land for, you know, be it road construction or any other form of uh, use that you want to put the land to. And so we, we dwelt on that because that, all this put together will bring about the high yield that we're looking for. And basically we, we're looking at the best practice, practices for a tractor operator in Nigeria. Basically, what the, the learnt in the theory sessions, you know, we're now, you know, practicalizing the field for, for about a week. Now this is John Deere. We have the massive agosin. We have Fiat. We have made all the tractor are similar. Does the same job. It depends on the fact. These are the parameters make up the power. The system I was calling. Air system fuel system and water system, and it causes the major factor of the tractor. If this three factor is well maintained, your lifespan of your tractor can reach 10 years. From the left, from the left hand side,
the fertilizer. When we are about to go to the field of operation, we, re we open the fertilizer and we pour it so that practically you will see what we are doing. And these are the trays, these are the component part of the planters. Tray. Both trays are carried. This is how the working mechanism goes. See, when we couple the, uh, the machine, you will see, see now, this is how it goes. You drop this cassava stem inside this hole, and there is a certain working mechanism underneath that we cut cassava stem into accurate. Whatever the means, the moment you spread your farm, and when we get to the field of operation, you will surely see the application and how the planter, uh, how the sprayer it works. And the coupling system is the same thing. Plow, arrow. So, the Kama project was brought about to reduce drudgery in cassava production as well as linkage to markets. But the emphasis today is on the adoption of the modern technologies that we use for cassava production. After taking the class, lecture and the classes, we go to the workshop and show them the machines we have, how you maintain them and take care of them. Then what we are doing today, as you see from the background, we are demonstrating the field operation for cassava planting, starting from land preparation, then to the actual planting, spraying, after the harvesting of the cassava, which we have implement that are doing that. Basically that's what we are doing today. We show them the process of coupling the implements, how the implement should be maintained, and how they should be able to put safety precautions in whatever they are doing to the point now we come to the field and you see what we are doing now. We are plowing. After plowing, we harrow to level the place. Then after harrowing, we will plant. After planting, we apply herbicide to suppress the weeds that are already there and they kill the ones that are almost coming so that the cassava can have enough time to germinate well before the grass starts competing with it. Then later, we now demonstrate how the harvester can be used to harvest cassava. All what we are doing is simply to mechanize cassava production so that one, production will be increased, labor will be minimized, and profit will be maximized. So that is the basic uh, importance of this uh, program. That we have. The participants on safety measures, on tractor operations, and implements. Yes, safety simply in a simple term is a degree, a, a degree of freedom from danger. What and what should one do to be free from being associated with accidents? So that is actually what I, I took them, both uh, in the areas of tractor operation working with implements on the farm. For instance, in tractor operation, we are handled them on the best way to kit, the kitting code, how to start and stop tractor, how to couple the implements, use of, uh, use of the three point hinges and the PTU and the hydraulics. On the field this morning, we taught the participants the safety, practical safety, on the, mach on the tractor and implements. Thereabouts, we showed them how to couple a tractor with all the implements that has to do with cassava production. We started there from plow, plow. The plow operation is the primary tillage operation that may come first in the, for line preparation, followed by arrowing the land. And after the arrowing, we have to carry the planter, cassava planter, that combine fertilizer. So we try to demonstrate and to teach the participants how to use cassava planter to plant on the field of operation. see it. all the participants are excited about you know what they have learned uh, 
the, 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 the see this as one, one very important you know, exposure that they've had with, with what they have uh, gone through in the last uh, one week or so. The workshop has been very, very fantastic. It has dealt with virtually all aspects of uh, cassava mechanism, all aspects that has been posing those problems, they have eventually dealt into it. And apart from that, the, they have exposed us more to the use of uh, that mechanical planter. And that will even help us to maintain the tractor for a longer period. So I want to thank um, the AATF and the Encam and the CAMAP for this opportunity they have given because um, they have really let me know that um, we have to the ways, the easiest way to mechanize um, cassava production. And again, the ways that um, the detractor operators can um, you know, keep their machines working because we know that the detractor, they have let us know that the detractor is the life of the mechanized farm. And in fact, they have been able to particularize all the machines that are expected from um, you know, the, the planting to the harvesting. And again, and they've also been able to particularize to us the, the, the various operations from the pre-planting operation, the clearing, and uh, you know, the mechanized way, and you know, until the time, the planting time, the herbicide application, and then um, to the harvesting time to, to, to make it, and all the ways to make it easier in a very large scale. African Agricultural Technology Foundation is a worthwhile venture and we welcome them with open hands now that our, hands, our eyes have been opened to what they are doing. We've seen some of their displays, some of their performances in many places. It's great and I want any government, any state government, any local government to listen to uh, anybody that has come in touch with AATF especially in their CAM project, the cassava mechanization and the uh, agro-processing project thing. This is what we came here under that project to learn. Yes, I will read them very hard. I will read them as friends. I will read them as developers. I will read them as, you know, partners, mediating between research institutes uh, with the technologies and all that, and the local farmers including the big time farmers as well as the medium scale and uh, small scale farmers. AATF is very friendly and AATF is sincere. They should keep the good work going and the, the, presently they are covering just about four states in Nigeria. I believe with what they will get at the end of this cropping season, they should be able to extend to other states so that they will also take advantage of uh, mechanization of cassava production and processing in Nigeria. And I believe Nigeria will have a lot of benefit from it. Now that the, our economy is dwindling, there is a fear. We are not getting the expected result, the income from oil that we, it used to be. So there is need, we have been talking about diversification. If there is increase in cassava production, there will be increase in income from cassava in Nigeria generally. The challenge we've been having has been a problem of low yield. You see cassava growers growing cassava, harvesting, selling, and they find it difficult to sell. It is not because there are no buyers. Industrial users have been available around to buy cassava, but cassava growers get to the market there cost of production will be too high for them to meet the buyer at the price the buyer will be offering. It's been a problem for years. But CAMAP has come with a strategy that helps the cassava grower grow, get much higher yield at relatively lower cost of production. The mechanization program in the country it's being intensified due to the diversification of the economy. The new administration of uh, President Buhari has taken a new stride to dive into the mechanization of the agriculture uh, 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 in the country. This is because uh, the, since the advent of the oil, oil in Nigeria, the agriculture, uh, uh, which was the mainstay of the country before, has been 
<coughs> relegated to the background. And such, with this uh, new policy, mechanization is, bring, is brought to the fore. And the youths are being brought into the mechanization process so that uh, they can be able to know that uh, agriculture can create wealth for them. And cassava mechanization has been one of the major issues because uh, cassava is a, a stable food in Nigeria. And apart from that, it, uh, industrial uses are so many. Cassava can be done to flour, can be produced into gari. It can also be used in indo as for industries for starch production for particle bus production and ETC like that. So because of this, it is necessary that we mechanize this, this uh, pro produce so that uh, we can be able to increase our industrial capacity and we can also increase our cottage industries that can create wealth for rural dwellers also. Today, this is the closing ceremony and we can see, you know, a special representation from uh, the Commissioner for Agriculture and Kwara State, the Permanent Secretary of Rural Development Open State, the special advisor uh, to the Kwara State Governor on Youth Empowerment, as well as the Executive Director of the National Center for Greek Mechanization and his management team. And you know, we have members of the press here and a whole lot of other stakeholders, tractor operator of, or, of tractor operators association of Nigeria, uh, who have also sent in a representation to this uh, training event. On behalf of the participants in this uh, program, I want to appreciate the organizers of this uh, program, Income and AATF for the Wealth Package program. In terms of uh, the training materials, the resource persons, the practical field experience, and even the certificates presented to us. In fact, is he looking better than my degree <laughs> The hope of the management of the African Agricultural Technology Foundation that this training will bring about a chain reaction that will lead, you know, to an evolution or the adoption of mechanization in Nigeria and Africa, you know, at large. We expect that these trainees will step down what they have lent to their colleagues and friends and we will bring about you know, the needed uh, manpower that will drive mechanization you know, across the country, particularly as it relates to cassava production in Nigeria.